Welcome to Libby's Keto Network, our first product review. I, I believe that we're going to look back on this as like, wow, that was very remedial. <laughs> but I'm throwing this together because I am so excited about this specialty store that I went to in Fort Collins. Now, real quick, so sorry to those of you who are in the Libby's Keto Network group. I know we had kind of had some excitement about doing like a little trip up there. Um, but yesterday I was about halfway up to Fort Collins from where I live and I thought, you know what, let's just go the rest of the way. And I was so excited. It was actually their, um, grand opening, which I didn't really know about, but, um, I cannot tell you how excited I'm. So this store is the El Explorado, sorry, I keep saying El Dorado, Explorado Market. And it's run by Robin and Kendra. Um, really neat people. They are doing amazing things for the paleo and keto community. Um, as I was standing there, Rob was just talking with his customers and just sharing his heart about keto and what a great opportunity it was to teach people. Um, yeah, to sell some products, but mostly I could tell that he was an educator at, at heart. So um, Rob, I think you're doing an amazing job. The things that I'm going through now are all the things that I purchased there. So while there are a lot of offerings for uh, keto things, and you've heard me talk about things like Quest uh, chips and you know some of the pizza type stuff, not all of those would really be considered paleo. If you want to know more about paleo, um, I'm not as well versed in that, but our paleolife.com uh, is another uh, website and another part of, um, of Rob's business. So uh, take a look at that, get versed in that. Um, paleo is a wonderful philosophy of eating and uh, really kind of dovetails with uh, keto. So um, so my first grocery haul, I guess, uh, goes to a specialty store in Fort Collins, Colorado. So here we go. Now today I have my helper, uh, Pam Brown, our own ha Pam Brown, not Ham Brown, Pam, well, okay, oh, that's yeah. that's another story. Pam Brown, um, who is one of the administrators on Libby's Keto uh, Network, and so she's going to help me out. She's not all that thrilled about being on um, camera, so she's going to hand me some of these things. Um, I'm not going to, just so you know, I'm not going to taste all of these. Uh, some of them I will, um, if there's some left, because quite honestly, we opened some things on the way home from Fort Collins the other night because we couldn't wait to taste them. So you'll see as we go on. Okay, so the first thing is a nacho, um, th thank you. Okay, very good, thanks. Hi, um, this is the, uh, the Honest Stand in Plants We Trust. It says it's a mild nacho dip. This one is dairy free. Um, you know, nacho dip, always wanting something really good. Um, I did try this uh, yesterday when we got home, um, and I tried it with uh, celery. It was okay. Uh, one disclaimer I need for those of you who don't know me. Uh, I am slightly um, uh, garlic and onion sensitive, and then uh, so sometimes I may not like it as much as you probably would if you like garlic, but I'm going to taste these things in the interest of uh, giving it a good try. So anyways, it's got a great creamy like that great creamy um consistency now this is a parmesan crisp i did not actually buy this up there um but i sorry rob i don't even know if it's totally paleo but they are good uh so i'm gonna go ahead and take a bite of this mm -hmm. very creamy um on this one this one for two tablespoons it's two grams of carb uh, zero fiber, but I think the big thing about this is that it's dairy free. So I could see using this for pretty much any of the chips uh, you make. And really remember, making chips is so easy uh, with the right cheese. So try this out. Like this, it's good. Oh my god! All right, all right. So that was uh, on a stand. And by the way, I'm not going to give all the macros on these in the interest of time, uh, but I will do my best to link the product uh, information below this video when I learn how to do that. Okay, uh, next up, we have uh, Purely Pecan. Uh, I didn't know you were allergic. Okay, yeah. there you go. All right, so this is Purely Pecans, uh, nothing but pecans, pecan butter. So for some, uh, eating peanut butter was a daily ritual, and because of the carb count, because many of you cannot... Um, 
control yourselves, quite honestly. Uh, a lot of you don't necessarily indulge in um, pecans and nut butters of some sort. And just a real quick disclaimer, the things that I'm going through today are fun foods. I don't think hardly, well, maybe there's a few of them here. It's not something you're necessarily going to have every day. These are the things that you can enjoy um, as treats uh, to supplement your keto. Uh, remember, if you're new on keto, I highly recommend that you go for the basics. Do that page four protocol. Um, make sure you're getting good whole food. Become fat adapted. And then you can start experimenting with some of these things. So this is um, pecan. Uh, butter as you can see, you know, just like any of the the real fresh butters you really have to stir it up And I'm just gonna take a little bite of this Yeah, that's good. That's excellent. Uh, great fresh taste to it and I'm purely pecans and it's um, two tablespoons is four grams of total carbs minus two fibers making it two net um, Again, I'm not gonna sit here and talk about the difference between total carbs and net carbs but that should give uh, the all of you guys out there doing keto an understanding of where it might fit in your macros. So very good. Highly recommend that. Very, very fresh, fresh, fresh taste. It really, it feels like you just did it yourself in the food processor. Yourself, not me. Okay, so the next thing we have are a bunch of different meat sticks uh, that we purchased. And uh, always nice... Hey, thank you. That, that's your leather grub. Okay. All right. So anyway, so there's a bunch of different... Um, meat sticks and i'm gonna go through uh just the different ones here all kind of put together the first one is chomps i'd heard a lot about these <clears throat> um zero carbs uh good food again remember everything that rob is carrying up there is uh paleo so definitely made from the best sources and those kind of things so as you can see i actually kind of munched into that oh oh okay so am i supposed to pull that off i guess so okay so anyways i'll go all right so chomps, um, I picked up, uh, there's a couple different kinds. There's, they're all grass fed. Um, this one is a beef stick. I think there was a jalapeno one, but there's several different kinds that are there. Um, for me personally, this is venison. Venison. Okay. Oh, that's the wrong one. All right. So there's venison. See, there's a, what's that called? A deer? An elk? Whatever that is. Okay. So anyways, um, this one at least <clears throat> was, uh, a little soft for me. It's got a great taste, though, a great um, combination of flavors. Love this. This is really good taste. Again, a little soft for me. I like a little bit of bite in my um, my beef sticks. All right, I'm going to try the venison. I wasn't going to, but I want to see how much different that is from a beef stick. Oh, am I supposed to try that off? I, I don't know. I guess, I, I don't know. Anyways. I don't know. It's pretty good. Still soft though for me. I like like I said I get it. Is it gamier? Yeah. Yeah, probably so. Okay. I'm not, not a connoisseur of game, I guess. Alright. So next one, keto carne. Oh, and chomps with zero percent or zero percent. Zero carbs for you. Um the next one is keto carne. This is another uh zero um carb, uh clean, zero sugar, zero far uh farbs. Uh, carbs, uh, sea salt and pepper is the one that I've got here. Um, mm, this one has that uh, bite on the outside that I really like. This is sea salt and pepper, but woo, it's a little salty or a little um, spicy for me. And again, for those who know me, I'm kind of a wimp, so don't judge that by me. But those are good. I like the consistency of those. Um, the next one we have is mission meat. <coughs> um, Mission meat, really good. As you can see, I already tried it. Again, this one, um, I don't have a carb count on this one, um, but it's got good good ingredients. Paleo friendly. Um, I like the crunch. This particular one doesn't have a whole lot of taste for me, but it's good. I can see throwing that into my backpack when I'm hiking. Now this last one is something totally different for me. Um, I actually didn't have a chance to really kind of investigate what all this is. It's a Yoba Yo beef. It's air-dried slices, traditional biltong, um, sugar-free, authentic South African recipe. Um, our process is simple yet delicate. We start with the finest cuts of beef that we, I should use my glasses, that are spiced to perfection using an old family recipe, marinated, 
and dried for 14 days. The result is a tender slice of beef with a naturally explosive flavor. Again, gluten-free, no artificial anything in it. It's air-dried. Ingredients are great, just beef, sea salt, cor coriander, some uh, Worcestershire powder, pepper, and vinegar. Um, grass with beef. Now this one here, it's a little bit less than one gram um, of carbs, but it's for the whole container. So you can see kind of what the container is. Okay, I'll, I guess I could do that if it's big enough for you all, if you really want to see that. Now, this one, I actually did taste earlier, and I don't know if you can see this. We'll try to see that. Oh man, it's getting all over my computer. Um, <laughs> very thin slice, but when they say it was a delicate taste, it was really good. Um, yeah, did you taste this? No. Oh. I'm going to have Pam taste that, see what she says off camera there. Good. Yeah. It's tender. Tender. That's the word. Yeah, very tender. I love this. So this is like home run. I'd probably do this one, then the, uh, not chomps. What's the other one? What's this one? Oh, the keto carne. And then chomps probably. And mission meats was good in there too. But the chomps actually would be the last one only for me because I know I like a crisper uh, type of thing. So uh, we talked about keto carne, that's zero carbs. Uh, the Ayoba, Ayoba Oyo beef, okay? So, next is Epic Pork Rinds. Now, for those of you who do keto, you know the, the label uh, Epic. Uh, and make with pork rinds, kind of like little piggies. Thank you, Pam. Appreciate that. Hi, thank you. Um, so, oops, oh no. Okay, so there are, uh, there's a bunch of different styles. The ones we picked up that day, uh, pure Himalayan sea salt, uh, barbecue seasoning and the chili lime. Now the chili lime, I was kind of hoping was kind of like, you know, um, I don't know, like a salt and vinegar chip. No, it's really hot. And I, I'm not going to have any because it was really hot. Um, I really liked all the flavors. Now, you know, these are still pork rinds. Uh, some of you I know don't nothing. You can't really do much with pork rinds that makes you like them. Although I did want to remind all of you newbies, pork rind makes amazing, um, uh, covering for like chicken. Um, what am I thinking? Seasoning. And you can use it for meatballs to pull meatballs together and that kind of pork stuff. Pork dust. Pork, pork dust. That's what, uh, Christy, Keto, Sullivan. Christy Sullivan calls it pork dust in her, in her thing. So, uh, but if you like pork rinds, you want something crunchy. Cause I know some of you, it's about the crunch. It's not necessarily about the sweets, but it's about the crunch. Try pork rinds. The other real quick tip I'll give you too, if you just get plain pork rinds, heat them up in the microwave for maybe 10 seconds or so. And then you put your seasoning of choice. My favorite is actually put some um, uh, Anthony's cheese powder on top of it. Yum. It's just like nachos or something. So I do like pork rinds like that. So excellent, really cool thing is uh, Explorado Market has tons of them. Okay, lots of different styles. So you can buy one, try it out, and not spend a whole bunch of money from Amazon. And again, I want to encourage you, as often as you can, for those of you in Colorado, you should be driving your little body up to Fort Collins and buying from a local source. Because as we do that, the more we do that, the more you're going to get um, great people sourcing keto stuff. So uh, Epic Pork Rinds, uh, those are barbecue, chili lime, uh, pinch of Himalayan salt. Um, oh, I wanted to read this to you. I actually wrote on here, we read snot to tail, but that's not really what it is. Um, okay, so a snout, a snout to tail commitment um, in efforts to honor the brilliant animals that Epic sources, our pork rinds allow us to use more of the whole animal. This snout to tail commitment creates more nourishing food and allows us to incentivize ranchers to raise their animals in better environments. Always. So really support Epic. They're, uh, they're Epic. Thanks. Okay, next uh, we got all that. And I think the next thing we've got is actually an offer uh, of a stevia called Zevia. Now this one is not. Uh, hi. Okay. Um, this is, uh, they actually had the energy drinks. This one's cola. Um, now again, for those of you who know me, I'm not a huge stevia fan, um, but stevia is doing a great job. I actually occasionally will have a, Zebia drink like a coke or the black cherry and that black cherry. I don't know there's a bunch of different styles. My favorite is coke or the root beer one 
Um, this one that they had, which I was really excited, this is their energy drink. So this is zero calories, great opportunity to um, power you up and, and just get get your get go on there with a, a good Stevia drink. So try that. They also had um, Stevia, uh, what's it? Sparkling water. Sparkling water. So well, I'm not too much of a sparkling water gal, but um, uh, these were great and they had lots of different styles. Again, what's really cool, you can try things out. You don't have to feel like you have to buy a whole case of something uh, to try some of these great keto offerings. So, Zevia, and I'm gonna take a real quick drink too. Speaking of drinks, the next thing is um, electrolytes. Thank you. Okay, so as you all know, uh, electrolytes are like the number one hint, key, uh, encouragement that we give new keto people and quite honestly, along the way, um, how important electrolytes are. You know, uh, the main ones are magnesium, potassium, uh, and sodium. Now, for me personally, I get enough sodium. I'm never really too worried about that. And I take a magnesium supplement um, just to help sleep and all that other kind of stuff. But potassium is the one for me that is the real, real important one. Again, this is me personally. It wouldn't be necessarily everybody else. But when I get low on potassium, I can tell. That's when I get a little sluggish. I get a little tired. You know, I'm just not feeling quite optimal. So I reach almost every day, actually, for Dr. Berg's um, uh his uh, electrolyte drink because it has a thousand grams uh, or milligrams, whatever, uh, milligrams of um, potassium in it. Now, the other one that I've heard pretty good things about is Zip Fizz. I actually like that. I've tried it. It's really good. But this, Rob actually had um, the cherry uh, one on uh, taste test. Yum. So I'm very excited. I've got a couple of samplers of different kinds. This one's grape, raspberry, orange, and then the, the cherry pomegranate. Um, this one's 250 milligrams, so I would say that, you know, if you're really getting your green veggies in, you're doing good, something like this is going to just boost your potassium and your other electrolytes up, and there's a bunch of different stuff. As you can see, it's very, very small print, so since I don't have my glasses, I am not going to read that. Um, but anyways, really good and zero, um, uh, zero calories, so definitely Ultima. And by the way, these are just the samplers. There are little... Uh, tubs uh, that you can purchase so highly recommend always have some electrolytes on hand you never know when you might need them all right so next on the list is croutons Crout 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 croutons hello so pam is actually getting ready i think for thanksgiving yeah she's got the of glove or whatever that's called uh there's a thought that we're gonna take these and use them for making stuffing yeah, I could make my own bread. I may still do that, but right now it sounds easier just to buy a couple of bags of these. Um, so what are these were you asking? These are Fox Hill Kitchen's Awesome Croutons. Um, now, it's one net, gr net carb two for two tablespoons. So, you know, you might only get, you know, what, four or six in there. But if you're putting this on top of a salad because you love to have a little crunchy in there, Highly recommend um, you picking these up. I've actually had some of these. I love them. As a matter of fact, this was the first thing we opened when we got in the car. And did we, we opened them before we got to the oh, car. Oh, that's right. We Yeah, we were standing outside, were we? No. Or no, we had some inside. That's right. We were at the so counter. She scanned it. That's right. You, you tried it. Yeah, we tried it after she scanned it, and we had to go run back and get another bag. So, highly recommend these. Um, awesome croutons, Fox Hill. No, sorry. Rob did tell us that... They had a bunch of bread that day um, from Fox Hill that's supposed to be really, really good. He'd run out. Again, is that not cool that he ran out right away? Um, he's going to get some more in. Check it out. Drive up there. It's going to be worth your, your drive. Check out the bread. I think that's going to be just as good, but this is really good. Great crunch. Again, this is a little garlicky for me personally, but I don't eat that many bread products. And, um, yeah, there's just something very satisfying about having a good crouton. So there you go. Try that one out, all right? So that was Fox Hill. We talked about that. Next on the list, uh, let's see. We talked about the Ultima. So I think the next on the list, Pam, are we doing chocolate? Chocolate. 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 We love chocolate. We love chocolate. Chocolate. Oh, and chocolate. look at that little, it's kind of like, it's got a heart. look at it. It's special. It's got a heart. So chocolate, it's February, but chocolate's good all the time. All right, so chocolate. Um, if you get a hundred percent chocolate bar, okay, and you can eat it, and sometimes a little bit bitter, um, chocolate 
can be a trigger for some people. You got to be careful of that. But we all know that there's a lot of great stuff in chocolate. So there's two offerings that I picked up there. There were probably more, quite honestly, in the store. But um, this one was actually recommended by one of the customers there. And this is uh, Get Back to Human. I, I guess their company's name is Who, H U. Uh, this is a cashew butter and pure vanilla bean dark chocolate, organic house ground cocoa. No gluten, no refined sugar, no cane sugar, no sugar alcohols, no dairy, no emulsifiers, no soy lecithin, no vanilla extract. What's in it? Um, I can't actually read what's in it, but it's just chocolate, I think. Um, it's a dark chocolate. It's a dark chocolate. But here's what I want to tell you, and I want you to be careful. This one has 14 grams of carbs. No dietary fiber. What? What? Okay. But just remember... With dark, wonderful, rich chocolate. In here, there's 10 squares. Pam and I shared a square. And we were both, is this not true? Yes. We were, we were satisfied with it. Um, because it's so rich and decadent. So when you think about it, if you only had one of those after a meal, what is that, 1.4? I think that's the math. So there's the, there's the square. Okay, great chocolate. Um, Crunch. Yeah, it's just got that. You know what the other person is? Um, mm. That's quality. This is quality. Mm. Very good. Should we just pause? No. Okay. All right. All right. So, anyways, again, I'm I'm kind of in that uh, vein of if it fits your macros, got to be careful, but really yummy. So the second offering is this one here, and this is Addictive Wellness Raw Chocolate. Now, when they had a little display, and I didn't have a chance to sit there and really look too much at it, but there were a whole type of ones. This particular one I picked up was Tranquility, but there was Energy, there was a couple of different ones. It's got really a cool logo. I really like it. I like the box, I like everything. This is the little, the little hand-me-out there. And it says that it's um, ethically sourced, sugar-free, raw, super herbs, purity, non-GMO and vegan, uh, gray cacao. So <clears throat> this one right here, um, one of the reasons I was very interested in trying it is it's got the ashwagandha, the reishi, reishi, R-E-I-S-H-I. -I. I was going to look it up before the video, how to say it, and I forgot. And then it also has he shu wu. So I'm going to see what that says there. There you go. It has that. I was actually just listening to a doctor, uh, Ken Berry video, and he was talking about how good uh, reishi um, mushrooms and stuff are for um, dementia, or not getting dementia, I guess. Okay, so these bars, that that's like a little square, okay? So this square is uh, 140 calories, total fat 14 grams, where is my carb? Now this one is 7 grams of carbs and 4 grams of fiber, 2 two of these pieces that that's the serving size now again quite honestly this would totally satisfy me um again for those of you who are just starting keto you might have a hard time believing that because you're a chocolate lover but again i promise you read that last blog post on the brownies it's just different okay so chocolate this one i don't know i just it tastes different than the other one. And I think it was earthier, and that must be the mushrooms or something in it, but... Mm. Kind of hard to think about mushrooms in chocolate. Right, yeah. But it's tasty. Yeah, it's yeah. really good. I like it. Very sad. It's, it's, um, it feels like a lighter chocolate, I guess, in some ways, and yet it's earthier. I don't know how that works. I am not a connoisseur. I'm a big eater. I'm not necessarily a connoisseur of food. All right. So great chocolate. Highly recommend. Again, it's the fun stuff, right? Okay. What's next, Pamela K. Brown? We have ice chips. Ooh, ice chips. This was a really cool find. You want to hand me those? And of course, they're icy, so. Gloves. Yeah. Keep them, keep, keep them good. Okay. All right. <clears throat> so we got two of these. Um, these are fun. I am excited about this. The two types we got, uh, we got the root beer and we got cinnamon. And that's kind of what they look like. See that? 
Um, two of these pieces is two carbs minus two sugar alcohols. So basically zero carbs. Um, very, very, very fresh taste. Oh. Mm. Um, yeah, I mean, Mets really taste better than any other um, type of, what are those, the real, those, yeah, the things in the tins. What are they called? I don't remember. They're deliciously hot, or what are they called? Something. You all know what we're talking about. The regular, the regular mints. Mm. Altoids. Altoids. Mm, I'm taking it out of my mouth. Sorry about that. Woo! But very good. Now, here is the big, 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 big disclaimer. And I think it's, <clears throat> I don't know if it's actually on here. These both have xylitol in them. Remember. Xylitol is incredibly dangerous to your animals. Your dogs like really, really, really dangerous. If you're going to if you're going to get these, which I highly recommend, they're awesome. Um, keep them away from your dogs, your your pets. However, um, let me just caution you: if I were you, and my pet's life was on the line, I wouldn't even take bring xylitol in the house just because. Um, so, just a word of caution. But those are awesome. Very, very good. Um, so we talked about that. We're almost there. Okay, so we're kind of moved up into the, to what us, were, to, to, the, to two of us was amazingly the best offering. And I'd heard about these Stoker bars from several different uh, sources. I think AD Keto, Keto Connect have done reviews on them. And so here is the Stoker bar. Thank, thank you, Pam. <laughs> Pam. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, you, you can Don't get some. Don't eat it all. Don't tell her I'm going to. Okay, so um, what's cool about these? These are like granola, Nature Valley granola bars. I'm just going to... Oh, look at that. I'm wasting it, Pam. See? All right. Mmm. Oh. This is amazing. This is really good. Now... The Stoker bar, one bar, is 19 total grams of carbs. It's got five fiber and 10 sugar alcohol, which is erythritol. Basically, four net carbs. Do I think you should have this every day? I don't know. I'm sure some people probably use this as a breakfast bar. Um, it's got uh, 260 calories, so maybe. Um, I'm always a little concerned if we start eating all of these kind of foods as meal replacements but you better believe the next time I'm on the trail maybe not the Colorado Trail yet but on the trail I'm gonna have one of these Stoker bars because this is so filling and so good and it's so rich don't eat it all all right here you go thank you you're welcome it, it's Pam's favorite for sure well oh. this one is vanilla almond um Again, Rob said that um, that day, I think there were some chocolate ones they ran out of. I'm looking forward to that because I think I would like that even more. But really good. Top of the line. If you like Nature Valley or any of those kind of really crunchy um, granola type bars, highly recommend this. Actually, we were talking about if you broke this up and you put it in some uh, heavy cream or half and half. Mm. Yogurt. Oh, yeah, yogurt. If you got uh, that, that Kite Hill almond uh, yogurt. I don't I don't know what's in that. It's, it's pretty good. Um, that would be a good option option for you. All right. So the last one we waited for you know, is Killer Way. <laughs> Thank you, Pam. Appreciate that. Okay, nice and warm. All right. So you all know there are certain things in the keto sphere world uh, that we're trying to always get to. And for most of us, it is a really good ice cream. Um, I've had, I've made my own. Uh, I think that uh, uh, Christy Sullivan's recipe is yum. Um, yeah, for me, that's just almost as good as Briars, and I know some of you don't like Briars, but um, really good. Um, I've had a couple of the So Delicious and the Arctic. Uh, the Arctic regular ice cream I didn't like, but the Arctic um, candy or... Ice cream bars. Ice cream bars. They were pretty good. Um, we we recently ordered Rebel, 
Um, but when you order, you have to order a whole bunch of tubs, so it's very expensive. Or you Again, a ton of shipping. Yeah, ton of shipping. Uh, another good reason why you should go to Explorado Market because they're gonna. You can buy one pint at a time and try it out. Now, when I try uh, ice cream like this, I usually like to try a chocolate and vanilla because that kind of gives you a baseline. Um, now, for those of you who watch AD, AD Keto, I don't, he's been doing this a long time. Remember, this is my very first video like this, my long play video. That's why I'm having such a hard time looking at myself, and I apologize for that. I'm trying really hard to look at the camera. But anyways, so he has this thing he does, which is really cool. He goes in and he does this. I don't see, I'm just not, <laughs> I can't figure that out. So this has been out for probably 35, maybe 40 minutes now. Remember, almost all of these ice creams that you buy that are keto friendly, you need to let them sit out. They, they definitely have a different texture and a different um, everything when it comes out. So this is chocolate. Yeah. Mm. Wow, that is... That is good. It's um, a very creamy ice cream. Mm. Again, don't eat it all. Well, she doesn't like chocolate anyways. Doesn't matter. I'm going to have to go drive up there Saturday and get some, some other. What was the other one? It was vanilla. And what was the other one? A Blue? raspberry swirl. Mm-hmm. Uh -uh. Wow. Killer way. I knew that that was at the top of the list with Rebel. I know that some people don't, you know, Rebel's good, but they really like Killaway. I think it's kind of landing on it's one of the two. So, yum. All right. So I could sit there and eat that all day. All right. I think that's it. Um, I have to believe that I'm going to be going up to Explorado Market um, at least once a month just because and stocking up to me it was a grocery haul as you can see i bought all of that in the bag um she told me it was the longest receipt of the day yet so <laughs> um and i probably could have bought more to be honest with you. they have bone broth they have um just just so many offerings there um so i highly recommend you checking them out Give me that that kind of gives you and i'll link all this in the bottom but in case you can't wait there you go um, say hi to Rob for me. Uh, tell him that uh, that I am a huge supporter, and we're going to get the word out that they're there. Um, just so you know, they're also uh, they've got a plan. They've got a commercial kitchen. They're going to be working on different things there and getting groups together to talk more about keto. And again, the thing I loved about his heart when I saw him and his wife was they were teaching people about keto. They were educating. They were encouraging people in their walk. And again, it, it's a paleo keto thing, uh, but their emphasis, I think, that's going to personally, it's going to give them probably the most bang for their buck is going to be their keto um, keto goods. So uh, that's it. A couple of things. Um, for those of you who have been wondering what the heck this is, just uh, yesterday went to the uh, Adams County Craft Four. Fair. Uh, and for those of you who know me, I paid to go to a craft fair. Things are changing. Uh, but I picked this really cool up. This, this item up. Oh, wow. Uh, item. And this is uh, Keepsakes by Karen. Great friend of mine, she does amazing work on wood. This one's actually one of her more plain things, but she can engrave and um, paint. paint different types of wood uh, customized for you. So look her up, she's on Facebook, and here's her card. Different da -da -da -da. signs. Yep, different signs, just really, really great work. I'm uh, gonna hit her up to do something for Libby's Keto Network. And speaking of which, there's there I am there okay there's keep keep it thanks for Karen Libby's Keto Network and they, all these guys who do these YouTubes they do this so well Explorado Marketplace and then again here's Libby's Keto Network um, your encouragement for your keto walk I wanted to remind you again that um, it is uh, we're still in the Libby coaching for free zone <laughs> so uh, but either way guys you know that I totally want to help you in your walk with keto whether you're new to keto you are uh, in the throes of transitioning to being fat adapted or you've been keto for a long time visit the Libby's Keto Network website invite your friends to it I really want it to be a place where anybody can go and find where the next step should be how to make keto your keto um, go out enjoy yourself get ready for the holidays um, 
if you want any, actually, I can see a lot of this stuff being amazing um, uh, stocking stuffers. Go up there, fill up a cart, do them as stocking stuffers, and uh, again, say hi to Rob for me. And I uh, hope this has been helpful for you, that it serves you. And uh, if you have any questions, like I said, send me an email, libbybketo at gmail.com. Go to Libby, there's Pam, Libby's, <laughs> Libby's Keto Network. Uh, we would just love to help and serve you. So hope you all have a great holiday season. Bye. Happy holidays.